Hi, I'm Matt and welcome to Less Dependent Wisconsin. It's a beautiful day here in northern Wisconsin and I'm going to show you how to do something a little different today. We're going to make what I call poor man's honey. Okay, it's only got four ingredients in it. Pretty simple recipe and I guarantee one of those ingredients you can probably get right out of your backyard. So let's go get started. Okay, it's a pretty simple recipe. It only has four ingredients. Clover flowers, lemon juice, sugar, and water. I was looking at a recipe for clover jelly, and this is how I got the idea. Clover jelly is basically the same recipe, but you add pectin to it. Now the proportions we'll be using, it's basically one cup of clover flowers to one tablespoon of lemon juice, to two cups of sugar and one cup of water. Now in the, this case, I'm going to be using three cups of flowers. So we'll use three tablespoons of lemon juice, six cups of sugar, and three cups of water. And I'll show you the yield at the end of the video. Now this is white clover. And these are the white clover flowers we're gonna pick. And it took me about an hour, but I got three cups. So you're going to want to go through and remove any stems like that. And you're really looking for flowers that are mature or just past mature. Okay. If it's got a lot of green in it, like this one, probably don't want to use that. It'll probably add a little bitterness. But at the same time, you've got thousands of flowers in here. So... We'll go get these cleaned up and I'll tell you what I did. So I rinsed them off under cold water and laid them on a paper towel. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna go along and pull out any grass, any with really long stems so you can trim them up. Just get it good and cleaned up because you basically just want flowers, okay? And the re recipe is gonna be based off everything dry. So I measured it out, there were three cups. If I were to put them in a cup now, they'd you know, obviously be smaller and you'd get less in a cup. So measure them out dry before you start everything. Go boil the water now and start making the tea for this next step. Okay, so we've got three cups of boiling water. We're gonna go ahead and add our flowers now. The boiling water, three cups of water, three cups of flowers, and we're gonna let this steep overnight. You wanna set something on top of this so you can kinda of keep those flowers below the water. I'm gonna leave this out at room temperature till it cools down a little bit and then I'll put it in my fridge overnight. It's been 24 hours. I strained the liquid from the flowers and then put the flowers through a cheesecloth so I can get all the juice out of them. And this is what's left. We're gonna go in and get this to a boil and we'll show you the next steps from there. Okay, the liquid's getting pretty close to a boil. So we're gonna, at this point, we're gonna go ahead and add our lemon juice. And in this case, I'm adding three tablespoons. And then once it starts boiling, we're gonna start adding our sugar to make the syrup. Okay, at this point, it just started to boil. So we're gonna add about half our sugar. I'm using six cups. Stir it in, add the other half. Add the other half. And 
Now it's a matter of reducing the liquid down to a syrup. And this process does take a little bit, so we'll get it back up to a boil, and I'll show you what I'm doing. It's been about 10 minutes. It's starting to get a little thicker, but we still got a ways to go. At this point in time, if you want to skim out some of the foam that's on the side, you can do that now. So I'll get that taken care of, and then I'll come back when this is to the consistency I like. It's been about 35 minutes on the boil. It's really hard to tell the consistency of it though while it's in the pot because it's just very viscous. So what I did was I put some into the freezer for a few minutes just to cool it down hard to see and this was the previous batch I had done so once it's good and cooled down it gets pretty thick okay so at this point I'm going to go ahead and turn this off transfer them into jars get those canned and I'll show you the final product so it's been a couple of hours since I finished canning the poor man's honey. This was my total yield. So if you remember, I started with three cups of clover flowers, three tablespoons of lemon juice, three cups of water, and then six cups of sugar. And I put the one, the leftover in the fridge so it would chill down so you could see the consistency of it. Honestly, it just tastes like honey. So, anyways, I hope this was an informative video. Focus on being less dependent. We'll see you soon. Have a great day.